Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? You what? God design, God design. God design, God design. God design, God design. God design, God design. Never blend in like camouflage. Know your whole life's in the hand of God. Always kept it real, couldn't stand the fry. We playing in different fields. I never ran the culture and being able to tell the very many stories that come from us. You know, whether you be African, whether you be Caribbean, whatever it is, I feel it's extremely important that we represent ourselves and tell our stories the way how we want our stories. Welcome to my channel. My name is Faith Dodger and I'm literally the girl next door. You must be wondering where I am right now. Well, I'm in London's very own Little Lagos. Yes, you heard me right. Little Lagos. Are you curious to know what it's all about? Then follow me right to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Come along. Did you know that Zone 2 Peckham is one of the most ethnically diverse areas of the UK? It practically is London's own mini Africa and commonly known as Little Lagos. Peckham is a district of South London, England, within the London Borough of Southwark. The findings from the 2021 Census of Population and Housing in England and Wales that took place on March 21 will only be released between March and April 2022. Statistics for the ethnic groups in Peckham Ward, according to the 2011 census, are listed as follows. 50.4% Black, African, Caribbean, 29.2% White, 9.1% Asian, 7.1% Mixed or Multiple Ethnic Groups, 4.3% Other Ethnic Groups. The area known as Peckham covers a large area of South London and takes in many diverse communities. The British Nigerian community forms a sizable component of the population of the area, with the area being dubbed Little Lagos as a result. 2011 census results state that the whole of Peckham area had a Nigerian-born population of 5,250 people. A traditional London working-class community now coexists with communities that have their origins in the Caribbean, China, India, Ghana, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Turkey, Eastern Europe, and Vietnam. There has been a steady gentrification of some of the areas in the south of Peckham, and this has meant an influx of cafes, wine bars, niche shops, and artist studios. Notable people born or raised in Peckham to mention respectively our famous Star Wars sequel tr trilogy cast member John Boyega who played his role as Finn and Manchester United's own former centre-back Rio Ferdinand. The popular British sitcom Only Fools and Horses was filmed on set in Peckham. Mountview Academy of Theatre Arts, formerly Mountview Theatre School, is a drama school in Peckham. The Academy provides specialist vocational training in acting and musical theatre, as well as production arts. Renowned English actress Judy Dench is the president of the school. The institution prepares students for a professional career in the performing arts. The Academy and its course hold qualifications and curriculum development agency recognition validated by the University of East Anglia and Trinity College, London. It was rated outstanding for overall effectiveness by Ofsted in 2015. Key areas of study include performance and production. It is a member of the Federation of Drama Schools. 
the Academy has a long list of notable alumni, my favourite being Brendan Coyle, who plays the role of Mr Bates, Robert Crawley's valet in Downton Abbey. Peckham Levels is a great site for setting up businesses such as local startups, street food trading, or anything in the creative industry. Peckham Levels is home to nearly 100 local and independent creative businesses. There's a whole list of things to do at Peckham Levels, from street food and bars to a yoga studio and beauty salon. Who told you? Who told you? Know your whole life's in the hand of God Always kept it real, couldn't stand the fraud We playing in different fields, I never ran alone uh, First things first, let me break the news I don't really even got a name to prove I'ma win the game, I ain't came to lose Cause me and God tight like bathing suits Afraid of who? Fear ain't part of my composure And this right here is for the culture You watching, watching innovation at its finest We been fly, swear I ain't live our own pilot Hold up, hold up, I don't think they follow My dad is an artist, I feel like Pablo And if that's the case, I'ma walk a Picasso Throw me on the track and I'ma ride like a fossil Who told you? <laughs> who told you? I mean, who told you you can't do it? Who told you? Who told you you're not fly enough? Who told you? You what? God design, God design. God design, God design. God design, God design. God design, God design. I know girls who quit the throw on the makeup. A couple of them overcoming the breakup. Never settle in life for the fake love. Cause you gon' pay a pretty price from the pay stuff. I know a couple dudes looking for approval. Doing anything mundane and usual. Look, homie, your self-worth is crucial You so in seas, you might as well make them fruitful I'ma keep it truthful, tell you what I mean True religion is literal, God in your genes I always felt different and odd as I seen I realize I'm gifted and God is the king We're looking at Peckinplex Cinema It is an independent six-screen cinema Which was established in 1994 It screens Mainstream Art House foreign language and independent films. Movie tickets cost only £4.99. Now guys, level with me. Who says taking a girl out on a date has to be expensive? With up to 15 films a week, there's something for everyone. It gets busy, so it's advisable to book in advance. Peckinplex also holds special events such as concert films, pre-recorded plays and theatre production charity screenings and Q&A events with directors, actors, and special guests. Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? You are God design, God design. God design, God design. God design, God design. God design, God design. God design. Never blend in like camouflage. Know your whole life's in the hand of God. Always kept it real, couldn't stand the fraud. We playing in different fields, I never ran alone. Uh, first things first, let me break the news. I don't really even got a name to prove. I'ma win the game, I ain't came to lose. Cause me and God tight like bathing suits. Afraid of who? Fear ain't part of my composure. And this right here. 
Okay, so I found this beautiful t-shirt. I just fell in love with it. That's what drew me to this boutique. It's called the Best of Both Boutique. I'm going to be talking to the owner of the boutique shortly. What do you think? Isn't it lovely? I resonate so well with the design here. Started off just doing party dresses, date night dresses, dresses for weddings, occasion wear, accessories, you know, bags, sunglasses, jewelry, so and so forth. And it just kind of started to grow and transition a little bit as the years went along. Then, um, a lot of changes took place. I opened up another business, which was a kid shop. Okay. Then I went online. You know, life just kind of grew, but moved slightly away. And then, yeah, so I went online for two years. And then an opportunity came for me to get a shop in a small shop in Peckham, Lovely. the new marketplace Peckham. So I took it up because I was like, Peckham is the perfect location for what I do and the market that I'm trying to reach. And so I took it. And here I am. And then a few, well, it was during COVID. So, you know, a lot happened. You know, a lot of closing, opening. Closing, oh, yeah. Opening. But it was fine because I had my website there to utilize that. And I was just doing a bit of click and collect as well. Was um, that working well for you? It is. It, literally, COVID, lockdown, whatever, uh -huh. it worked. It, it worked for my business. It enabled me to take more time out to focus on areas that I kind of put aside. I didn't really have the time to give it you know so lockdown enabled me to kind of refocus and not be too consumed with all the other isms and schisms around the business but like I said it's been a journey and it's been a process and yeah relaunch open up a second boutique opposite which accessories is where we're in now so the bag sunglasses once again jewelry sandals a few a small collection of shoes fedora hats you know unique vibrant beautiful pieces you know you're not everything's for everyone but there's something for someone that's you know? so true it is like literally and i just love helping women assisting women to kind of I guess get their mojo back, get them to get out of their comfort zone, to try new things, to play around with a bit of colour. Oh yeah, yeah, and I actually like the part where you mentioned date night outfits because yes. that can be a bit tricky when you're going out. You and you're know? just like, what do I wear? You know, like, you need to. I don't want to be too dressy, dressy, but I still want to look like I've made an effort. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why we do a lot of shirt dresses because shirt dresses can go from casual to dressy. Mm -hmm. You know, depending on how you wear it. You can wear it with heels. You can wear it with belt. You can wear it with shorts. You can wear it with jeans. You know, you can do it with the sandals. So there's many a very versatile there's many ways of you know mixing up a shirt dress even in wearing it open you know over a little body contrast you just got that on like outerwear oh yeah you know like and that's what i'm about just kind of giving women i guess a new way of thinking when it comes to the clothes that they're choosing to wear because it true. doesn't have to be that difficult like play around but there's nothing wrong in bringing out that creative side you know play around with a bit of color play around with different materials different textures but you know that's what i'm here for so if i'm able to assist women in you know their outfit of choice then that's what i will do that's wonderful because what i know is when you look good you feel good and it you know it helps with your confidence so you know what you're doing is a confidence booster to women out there and um, you're doing a great job no thank you yeah I'm all about wear your clothes don't let your clothes wear you there's no point in feeling uncomfortable in what you're wearing because you're gonna make other people feel uncomfortable that's so true you. they'll pick up on those things you know um, fabrics mm -hmm. are key especially with different body sizes and you know we cater to the plus size women up to size 22 oh lovely you know, it's a big market mm -hmm. and we do try to just get pieces that are complementary mm -hmm. to the fuller fuller woman you okay know, because i think one thing i found is when they see a boutique they think you don't do stuff you know for their you don't cater to their size oh they've been left out in the past yes. which is really unfortunate and i get it Even yeah when they see me they're just like oh you're not gonna cater to my size yeah I'm like, what of course like i'm a woman i might not be a big woman but i'm still a woman you know uh -huh. um and there's Kaza. she you know she part of the team and she's a size 22 20 you know so we're all about women full stop short tall big small 
everyone is catered everyone, for. Everyone is catered for as much as we can. You were talking about the relaunch of your other boutique, the one that's across. Uh, when is that going to happen? Okay, so the works are taking place right now as we speak. You know, in the background, I can see <laughs> all sorts going on. So we're hoping, hoping, hoping. No, actually, let me, not hoping. We are. We are going to open, reopen the 2nd of October in time for Black History Month, in time for Black Pound Day. Oh, wonderful. In time for our new collection, the new season. So, yeah, 2nd of October. Okay, do you have an Instagram handle or a website? Oh, we sure do. At Best of Both Boutique and the website www.bestofbothboutique.co.uk. Okay, I'm going to paste that on. Please do. Uh, thank you so much for giving me your time just so that you know people out there know what you're all about yeah. and um, you're doing very well. No, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank <Blessings>. you. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Thank you. <laughs>we have Natalie over here and she's going to be telling us a bit more about herself and Gap Fist. Hi Natalie. Hi, hi guys. Lovely to meet you, lovely to meet you all. I'm Natalie, the mother and founder of Girls About Peckham and our platform stands for girls, culture, community and fashion. We say substance over hype. So we don't want to create anything that doesn't have any substance. We we only want to create things that have substance, never hype. So let me tell you a little bit about our Girl About Pack and Fest Day that's taking place and starting this Friday the 17th of September down at Coffee and Cocktails in Peckham. That's 1338 Rye Lane. I'll tell you a little bit about the Girl About Pack and Fest Day. It's very much about the power of representation. I feel that representation is extremely important when it comes to our community, our culture and being able to tell the very many stories that come from us. You know, whether you be African, whether you be Caribbean, Caribbean, whatever it is, I feel it's extremely important that we represent ourselves and tell our stories the way how we want our stories to be told. Mm -hmm. So on Sunday, this will be the live stream with all of these guests. So we'll come in, we're going from Peckham to Jamaica and then back from Jamaica to Peckham and a few other spots as well. We have some secret and exclusive things happening as well. And on Saturday, which is the 18th, we have um, an author who will be coming and doing some book signing for the community as well. So we're really looking forward to that. But overall guys, I just invite you to check out Girls About Peckham and see what we're all about. And remember to keep building substance, never hype. Thank you. And they're going to be DJs, right? Right. There is going to be DJs. Let's talk about the bad boy DJs. So we've got the one like Super D live in the house and the renowned MC, Mr. Cold Steps. Anytime he steps in the house, it's just Cold Steps. Awesome. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to put down your Instagram handle. Be sure to check out our Instagram page. Lots of interesting stuff. And it's at Girls About Peckham. That's correct. There oh. you go. Thank
Now, to the female immigrants of African ethnicity, can we all agree that finding a hairdresser in the UK can be a bit hectic? This is not the case with Peckham, as there are plenty of West African hairdressers calling out to prospective clients. These women are talented and offer a reasonably priced service. You're spoiled for choice, as there is stiff competition in this location. ladies who did my hair um, one of the hairdressers in rookie salon um, could you tell me how long you've been a hairdresser for five years now okay and uh, have the five years all been spent in Peckham yes okay what kind of hairstyles do you do I do single plaits Ghana braid weave coral washing and setting and I do ponytail I, I do wig uh -huh. and I do everything, not less braid, feeding, stitch braid, anyone you want to do, we do it in this salon. So if anyone wanted to get their hair done, is it by appointment or is walk-in? Yes, please, by appointment. By appointment? Yes. Okay, okay. And um, where are you from originally? From Nigeria. Okay, okay. Okay, ladies out there, you know how difficult it is to find a hairdresser. It's taken me four and a half years to discover this place. So if you want to get your hair done, you're spoiled for choice in Peckham. And if you want her to do your hair specifically, visit Rookie Salon. She does a very good job, as you're going to see. I'm going to take a clip of what she did with my hair. So thank you so much for giving me your time. Has it finished? Why are you asking me now? What type of question is that? Yo, boy. Is the album finished or do we have a few more songs? It seems to go? like it's got one or two more. Oh, we are not done yet. Okay, exactly. okay. No, I, I, I've heard you, I've heard you, Shah. Uh -uh. What is all this rockers? Tell me. Following the disorder of August 2011, the Peckham Peace War was started by four members of Peckham Shed Theatre Company on a board covering the broken window outside Poundland. This attracted the involvement of thousands of local people whose post-it note messages of love and respect for Peckham grew to eventually fill eight wardings. When the time came to replace the windows and remove the original Peckham Peace War board, Members of the public were anxious not to lose this unique record of the public's thoughts and emotional response to what had happened within their own centre. This permanent public artwork has been developed as a creative response to a public consultation led by young people from the Challenge Society working with Peckham Shed, which asked members of the public in Peckham what they would like to see happen to the original Peckham Peace Wall and for their thoughts about how best it should be preserved.